In this video, we're going to talk about piecewise functions and it says different formulas on different parts of its domain. So let's look at the example. It says f of x is equal to x squared if x is less than or equal to 1. And we know that the shape of the x squared is parabola and it's a U shape. But then it says if x is less than or equal to 1, that means we can include one, right? One comma one. However, we cannot include 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10,000, and so on, but we could include zero or 0 0.9 or negative numbers. So we're going to take only the red part of the graph, okay? Not the entire graph, only from um, negative infinity to one. Let's look at the next one, it's a linear graph. You can graph the linear graph by using the y-intercept, which is zero comma one. And then you can also use the slope two over one, your rise is two, your run is one. So now you have two points and connect them. And we're going to substitute our one into 2x plus 1. So we have 2 times 1 plus 1, which is basically 3. At 1 comma 3, we have a hole there because it says if x is greater than 1. So I'm going to put a hole at 1 comma 3, but that x is strictly greater than 1, so we're including this part of the graph. So we're going to combine those graphs. So it will be here in a straight line, here, right? And the parabola part, it's one comma one, but it's filled in circle. And then we have a U shape, All right? So this will be your final answer for a piecewise function.